This is the caboose at Bald Knob, Cass Scenic Railroad, Pocahontas County, West Virginia. I want to give you all a quick little tour inside here. The stove and the coal, they provide that. The water, get your little sink here. They give you this, you can wash your dishes with, or whatever you need to do. They give you kindling. I'll give you the drinking water. Walk out here real quick. Show you the caboose. This is a big step down at the very top, so be careful. All right, that's a caboose right here. Got the overlook over there. We came up and stayed overnight between the tickets and the stay for four people. It's about $500. Which is not bad considering they give you the coal, the wood, the water. Uh, you stay up here. I guess you can rent it for two nights or whatever you want to do. I'm not sure how many nights you can actually rent it. but It's been fun. Definitely been different. You're left up here all by yourself. If you look way over in the distance, a few miles away as a crow flies, you got that big satellite in Green Bank. There it is, that's zoomed in a long way, so it's not going to be all that clear. That's a pretty view up here. If you want to see up here on the top real quick, I'll take you up there and let you look. Run on up here. <clears throat> this thing's old. It's weathered pretty heavily. see a view out that way let me show y'all something it says you were here that's pocahontas cassinic railroad state park all right bald knob elevation 4730 and that's at the overlook things that you can see are rainbow river boyer bear mountain elevation of its 4470 then you got Elibernob, the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, Arbavale, and Green Bank, four and a half miles away. So right over there, about where that's at, it's four and a half miles. You got all those mountains way back through there. Behind all that makes the scenic, just the, everything about it just so pretty. Got Dunmore, West Virginia, 7.25 miles away. Michael Mountain, Seneca State Forest. <clears throat> and then you've got Cass, West Virginia, which is four miles away. And that's from right here where we're standing. Now, if you look right out here, you look right there. I'll point this out. You see that? That's the smoke. That's coming from the train at the, at the uh, depot, I call it down there where the where you board the train all right check out this view up here it's awesome in the guys all right let's back out here and get a angle like this isn't that pretty it's no telling how many miles that right there is when you go around okay it's just it's just beautiful when you come up here and you says you are here do not go by this as this being north that way, this being south behind you. This is the east from where you're standing up here. This is the west back here. So if you turn this way, that's the west, all right? That right there is the north, okay? West, south, east. <clears throat> And if you think about it, you turn this way, it'd be northeast. You can see Maryland and Pennsylvania out in there. We got the compass out and verified this just to make sure we knew which way this was facing. So if they had this display over here, then it would be right. You were here. And then you just have to, they would have to put every, they'd have to change all this. But that's okay. Now you know. That's the east. 
the west, north towards the caboose, south back here behind you. And let me, let me do this again because I can see that smoke rolling off of that train. Watch this. Isn't that cool? You see the smoke right there? That's where the train is. Actually, it looks like that one is pulling back into the station. That's the Whitaker train. The bald knob train is actually on its way. Matter of fact, I think I hear it thumping. Because it's going on 2 o'clock as of right now. And uh, it's supposed to pick us up at about 14, 15. We got to see the salamander yesterday. That was really cool. On our way up, we stopped and picked up passengers coming from Elkins. I think that's what they said. To ride up to Bald Knob with us. <clears throat> ones that got off of the train that was heading up to Bald Knob, like that direction, got off the train, got on the Salamander, rode back to Elkins. Said it was a 56-mile ride for them. Big old diesel engine. I'm going to put up a video of it. Oh, listen. I hope y'all can hear that. It's the train whistle. That's just cool. My little boy likes trains since his uh, birthday this past weekend, like this weekend. And he loves trains, and we've done this. This is our 12th time we've ridden the train here at Cass. I think the third time we've been up here to Bald Knob. First time we've actually ever stayed overnight. I want to tell you, it's it's well worth staying up here. It's fun. You're, you're up here by yourself. Once that train leaves, if you want to go back, you walk. And it's 11 miles on the track. Unless you want to go this way. You're more than welcome to walk off the mountain. Down there, and there's people's houses there. Check that out. I mean, you got the Green Bank satellite, like I said, right there. That's the satellite, that big old huge satellite. Y'all look that up if you've never seen it. You want to go take a tour of that thing, you can, you can go tour that facility over there. You can tour that whole thing. It's really neat. Look at those mountains out through there. And your view that you have up here. Let's give you another shot of the caboose. Out here just to add to the to the scenery, you know. It is really cool. It's originally 53,000 pounds. Look at that bad boy. Sitting up here all by itself. And when we leave out of here, the train will come right here. We're going to head right back down that mountain. If you go right here and you want to go walking and you want to see the, the ranger's cabin that he used to live at up here, it's now abandoned with the fire tower, all you got to do is walk right out this track, go right down to the bottom before it turns. Again, you'll go out here at this curve, and what you'll do when you go out there to that curve, um, you, you go down to that curve, and it's, it starts down the hill like this, and before it turns to the right, you'll see a place on the left called Flagstop. You'll follow that road to the left. It'll go this way, out into the woods down there, way down this way, but you'll go that way. And then you'll make a turn. It'll say cabin in a point. All you got to do is follow it. <clears throat> so, you know, it's really not all that hard to uh, to find if you want to walk. It's not even, it doesn't even take all that long. Road's kind of rough. It's rutted out a little bit. It's not really used anymore. But it is some... some uh, some neat land out there, and the cabin's really cool. It does have a beeping sound in it. I may just upload a video of what I got of that, so you can see that as well. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's worth walking out there if you like this old stuff. I mean, if you don't like primitive stuff, and you don't like the woods, and you don't like it being blacker than black up here when at nighttime, especially when it's cloudy like it is right now, you know, this is not for you. If you're a, if you live in a city and the city life is for you and the noise or whatever this is not for you i live in the country i live in mountains like this so this is what i love it's so quiet i hear chainsaw and i've heard a lawnmower that's it i hear vehicles every now and then sound travels hear the train whistle but last night when we were here we never heard anything quiet as a mouse i mean it's just so quiet 
my wife, mother-in-law, son, we just all up here having us a good old time. Just chilling out. So I hope y'all enjoy this. You all uh, got any questions, let me know. You can just uh, call Cass Scenic Railway. Uh, it's a state park. They claim that the train and everything, like whatever, is privately owned, but apparently the this is still a state park, so <laughs> go figure. But anyway, you got any questions, like I said, just feel free to ask. So, and y'all take care. I'll give you one last look here as the video's ending up.